Welcome back to Guns.com. Today, I'm going to do a review of the Springfield Armory SOCOM 16 and 308. Let's check it out. Yeah, look at that. Whoa. Whoa. That's power, folks. Howdy, I'm Ron Bo. Here in Area 51, where today I'm going to review the Springfield Armory M1A SOCOM 16 in 308. This is a mean shooting machine. It's the latest from Springfield Armory. Came out in 2017, and it's a shooting gun. It's versatile. You can use it for many different things, from protecting your home to taking it out on the ranch or shooting in competition. This gun does it all. It's from Guns.com. They are kind enough to let me borrow it for a while and shoot some ammo through it today. Let's go back a bit to when the gun was designed in the 50s. This was the stock. You can see that. That's a standard M1A stock. And that's what the SOCOM 2 came out with in 2006. But it was a little boring. So they updated to what you see here, the Archangel stock which is adjustable and much more versatile the stock adjusts out to a 14 and a half inch pull one click in is 14 inch standard which is good for me pistol grip just like an m16 or an ar uh, the basic design is that of an m1 garand very good rifle in its time you can see the same sight bolt slide very much garand however they changed by putting a uh, piston in the stock right there, which actuates the slide. This gun is even better yet than the original, which had a long barrel. Springfield Army decided to shorten the barrel, make the gun more portable. So this is a 16 and a quarter inch barrel. For 308, that's a short barrel. It's gonna kick like heck, right? Wrong. They put a muzzle deflector on the front. You notice there are holes on the front, on the top I should say, but not on the bottom. So that's going to deflect the gas straight up and keep the gun down while I shoot. Very good design. Uh, M-lock slots on the front, the bottom, and the opposite side. 20 round standard M1A magazine as always, or a 10 round if that's all you can shoot where you live. I'll flip it over. On this side we have only the slide lock which is engaged when you pull the slide back. When the gun is empty, it locks back automatically. The uh, sights are M1 Garand, push right, pull left, windage on the left side, and on the other side is your elevation. Front side is tritium, so you can see that in low light conditions. It even retains a bit of light after you've been in the sunlight. And what do we have here on the top? A Picatinny rail, wow. You can put a long eye relief scope there and make it a uh, scout rifle just like Jeff Cooper's but this is semi-auto much better scout rifle any other site that you like uh, red dot and etc will work there as well the gun's fairly handy but it is nine pounds it's steel except for the synthetic stock so it's a handful to hold on to not something you put in your backpack but it is fairly light and packs a lot of power you can shoot long range with this quite well we're going to be shooting fairly short range today. Would you like to see it shoot? You bet. I would. This isn't your normal AR. You can't just slap a magazine in. It has to be placed in at an angle. 45 degrees with some force. Pushed in and pull on it. Make sure it's locked in place. The gun is now loaded. As you can see, the magazine holds uh, 20 uh, 308 cartridges. And today, we're shooting PMC. Bronze hunting cartridges. They're not full metal jacket, they're pointed soft points. So they will destroy anything that I pointed out. To load the gun, we'll make sure the safety's off and rack the slide. One round has just gone into the chamber. The gun's ready to fire. Let's take a look down range. Oh my gosh, what a target rich environment. Those aliens left a bunch of root beer behind. We're going to have to let the air out of them. But first, let's make sure we're sighted in, folks. We'll take a few rounds at paper. 
I like to poke a few holes in paper. Yeah, it hit oh, pretty well centered up at that distance, not very far. There's a steel target right in the center. What can we do with that? Oh, I shot. <laughs> Imagine that. I shot the steel target and the shrapnel went off and hit one of the aliens root beer bottles. Look out, folks. Let's take a shot at that longer milk bottle target out there. Oh, yes. Yes, two good hits. Shoots a little bit low, actually point of aim. That's right where my sight is. So I put that front sight there and that's where the bullet went. Not bad. Now you could shoot this from the hip if you wanted to, but we're about accuracy here at Area 51. We're gonna shoot some two liter jugs. Let's start with that one on the right. Whoa, that's some horsepower hitting that jug. We have a water jug on the right. Whoa, not anymore. Took the steam out of that water and blew it up. Let's see another water jug or another two liter jug here. Wow, that's root beer all over. We'll be growing root beer plants here. Here's another one. Woohoo! I like shooting root beer just as much as I like shooting steel. Let's shoot that steel target again. See what happens. Well, it took the hit. No problem. How about that root beer jug on the right of it? Not anymore. Oh, my bullet went through and hit the long range sniper. Let's finish him off. Yes. And that one too. Uh oh, watch that. Don't shoot the camera, Ron. On the left. Yeah, wiped it out. A couple more on paper. Wow. 20 rounds and we cleared that area. Notice that the bolt locks open after the last round. The bolt or the magazine releases here, push it forward, and the magazine comes out. She's a little warm, folks. Basically, a, a ambidextrous gun, except for the slide. If you're a lefty, you'd have to reach across, but it's really not a bad deal, similar to the Grand. Uh, I wouldn't hesitate to think about it if I was a lefty. Notice it didn't really kick that hard. I didn't mind it at all. I could absorb this, and I'm not wearing a shooter pad or anything. I'm not a big guy. But take a look at guns.com or used guns like this are available. Guns.com was kind enough to send this to me with some ammo to test. I really appreciate it. You might find one, certainly new, and available used as well. That's all I have today on the M1A. What a great rifle. No jams, excellent. Get out there and go shooting, folks. It's fun. Rombo signing off here from Area 51. Have a good one, folks.